Hello guys, uh, welcome to another Python tutorial. Uh, in our last tutorial, uh, we wrote Python code to read. Uh, we didn't import like uh, any libraries, so we just import, I mean we wrote Python code to read directly from the notepad. But in Python, uh, you have uh, a variety of uh, input data handling method like, I mean l large data handling method. Uh, there is a library called a popular library called pandas which uh, you could install by typing pip install pandas so i already have pandas so it should tell me that the pan uh, pip install ds pandas so I already have a panda so it will tell me like uh, recommend already satisfied if you don't have it will install it for you once you're done installing pandas you just go to your python shell and then uh, type import pandas pandas so if it shows wait for some time it's checking yeah if if it goes like this then no problem you have pandas you could go ahead and watch the tutorial i mean continue watching the tutorial if not you install the pandas uh, if you don't have pandas, it will show you errors when you type this one. Uh, so in the last tutorial, we saw how to import a file, uh, import data from a file. So this is the code that we used, and then we executed this code, and then it just it, it just streamed the data from the file onto the Python shell. I mean the console or however you call it. Uh, now we know this is like. A table in which uh, these are like uh, headers of the table and these are all the values of the table but where is it? but uh, this code doesn't know to differentiate between this it just reads line and it just prints it out that's what it does so using this uh, pandas library uh, we could import a table as a table, a CSV file as CSV file, and JSON file as a JSON file. So the the library get to know like um, what kind of data it is and what all its uh, headers. And it's easy for you to like do further data analysis uh, with your system knowing what all the headers. So in order to do that, uh, let's cite the code. We are going to import the same file but using pandas. Import pandas as whatever p um, uh, let's name a table like uh, color table table equals p dot we are going to call the method ivo which is input output so it's going to read the input so on this another method for input output um, they are, it's called passes. They have variety of passes. Passes for CSV, passes for Notepad. Pa I mean, passes for uh, reading tables and passes for reading JSON files or passes for reading XML files and all those. So we'll be using uh, passes dot read table method. Read table method, and we want to read. Uh, color dot txt this should be located in the same place as the python code you are running if not you should specify the location like how you see like slash all those so now we it will read the information from the table assuming that information over there is in table format uh, if we open and see what's there in the colors.txt file it's like this so this is the table header and these are all the data if you can't see I'll just increase the font size for this one you can see the header table header and it's all data like a table so I'll close this is what we're gonna read using uh, pandas library uh, and we have to print out the color table print color table save control s and f5 to execute it 
So they should print it for us. So as you could see, I uh, had uh, it left. It didn't count this one. So it's counted only data from zero. Uh, we have uh, 97 last time when we did 96. We have 96 data from zero. So it's quite easy. So yeah, this is. Uh, this is what we'll be using most of the time for in order to import the data from the notepad and doing the data analysis. So, if you guys have any doubt in this tutorial, comment below. If not, like like the video, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video and talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. So what?